Federal investigators are blaming air traffic controllers for two mid-air collisions last year that killed seven people. Chris Van Cleve has been looking into technologies designed to prevent these collisions that happen in the blink of an eye. Traffic, two o'clock. It happened that fast. Did you see it? This is an NTSB animation simulating a deadly mid-air collision and the limits of see and avoid, a method of flying that teaches pilots how to avoid mid-air collisions. By the time the pilot of this Cessna was able to spot an F-16 fighter, same altitude, zero miles, he had only seconds to respond. The planes collided over South Carolina in 2015. The two people on board the Cessna died. Weeks later, another mid-air collision in San Diego killed five. In both cases, the NTSB believes available collision avoidance systems could have prevented the crash. Traffic, two o'clock. By giving warnings like these. They are not required in general aviation aircraft, but similar systems are required for commercial airliners. Rusty Amer is a retired airline captain. Uh, I must have had in my career at least five or six of those uh, uh, warnings uh, that saved us. Since 2011, there have been 44 mid-air collisions in the U.S., killing 46. Mark Rosenker is the former head of the NTSB. These are very deadly accidents. That's why when you can use this kind of technology to prevent them from happening, it's a simple decision to go out and install it. Starting in 2020, all general aviation aircraft will have to have new technology to better communicate with air traffic controllers. But, Scott, those systems stop short of being dedicated collision avoidance. Chris Van Cleve for us tonight. Chris, thank you.